In this video, we will walk you through the reagent preparation steps of the Invitrogen Procartoplex Simplex kits. Procartoplex Multiplex Immunoassay for Simplex kits give you the most flexibility to combine the targets you need for specific test setups. For running Simplex kits, you will need the individual Simplex kit plus a basic kit. Each Simplex kit is specific for an individual target and contains 50X antibody coated capture beads, 50X detection antibodies, and antigen standards. Only one basic kit is required to combine the simplexes for an assay. The basic kit contains streptavidin PE, universal assay buffer, wash buffer, detection antibody diluent, reading buffer, tubes for preparation of diluted standards, a 96 well flat bottom plate, and plate seals. To perform the assay, you will also need glass distilled or deionized water, single and multi-channel pipettes with tips, multi-channel pipette reservoirs, beakers, flasks, cylinders, and conicals, serological pipettes, and a pipette filler and an Invitrogen handheld magnetic plate washer. Serum and plasma samples should be prepared using established protocols. Refer to the sample preparation section of your Procartoplex assay user guide. If the samples are not used immediately, aliquot the samples and store at negative 80 degrees Celsius until use. Before running the assay, remove the samples from the freezer and thaw them on ice. Mix well by vortexing. Centrifuge at 10,000 G for 5 minutes to remove particulates or for 10 minutes if samples are high in lipid content. Transfer the contents to a new tube. Avoid multiple freeze-thaw cycles. If dilution is required, dilute serum or plasma samples in 1x universal assay buffer. For dilution of cell culture supernatant samples, use cell culture medium that was used to culture the cells. Be sure to note if there is a recommended sample pre-dilution factor so that it can be applied during the analysis step. Before you begin, bring all assay components to room temperature. Continue by first preparing the wash buffer. Wash buffer is provided as a 10x stock solution. Gently vortex the wash buffer concentrate for 15 seconds. Mix 20 milliliters of wash buffer concentrate with 180 milliliters of deionized water using a 200 milliliter graduated cylinder. The detection antibody in the Simplex kit is provided at a 50x concentration. Label a 15 milliliter tube as detection antibody mix. Use the provided table in the user guide to check the needed volumes for a full 96 well plate. Scale accordingly if using a partial plate. Add 60 microliters of each detection antibody concentrate to the labeled tube and raise the volume to 3 milliliters using detection antibody diluent if using a full 96 well plate. Otherwise, adjust the volume accordingly. Simplex kits are provided with concentrated 50x capture beads. Therefore, dilution is required. Vortex each 50x simplex bead vial at high speed for 30 seconds. Label a 15 milliliter tube as 1x capture bead mix. Add 100 microliters of each 50x simplex bead vial to the 15 milliliter tube if using a whole plate. Otherwise, adjust the volume accordingly. 
Fill up with 1x wash buffer to a final volume of 5 milliliters. To combine two or more different bead vials, follow the table in the protocol. Each Procartiplex Simplex kit is shipped with two identical vials of each antigen standard to permit the user to run the assay twice if running a partial plate. Carefully review the certificate of analysis for lot-specific information on the kit components and take the needed antigen standard. Only one vial of each antigen standard set is necessary to prepare the complete standard curve. Some simplex combinations contain several different sets of antigen standards that require pooling prior to use in the assay. In this example, we have three Procartiplex simplex kits. Two kits have standard mix A with different lots included and the third has standard mix B. Only one vial of each antigen standard no matter which lot, is necessary to prepare the complete standard curve. For this run, we need one standard vial from standard mix A and one standard vial of standard mix B. All the other vials will not be needed for this run and can be stored for further use. You can use whichever lot you want. Write the lot of the used standards down as you'll need it for calculating the results. Centrifuge each antigen standard vial at 2000 G for 10 seconds. Add 50 microliters of universal assay buffer or cell culture medium to each vial. Vortex each antigen standard vial at high speed for 30 seconds. Centrifuge at 2000 G for 10 seconds to collect the contents at the bottom of the vials. Incubate on ice for 10 minutes to ensure complete reconstitution. Pull the entire contents of each vial into one of the vials and fill with sample type specific buffer to a total volume of 250 microliters. Pooling of antigen standard vials to prepare the working antigen standard must never exceed 250 microliters. For details on how to pool more than 5 antigen standard vials while not exceeding 250 microliters, refer to the video titled how to prepare a working antigen standard for an Invitrogen Procartiplex Multiplex Amino Assay containing more than five antigen standard vials. Vortex the working antigen standard vial at high speed. Centrifuge at 2000 G for 10 seconds. Prepare a four-fold serial dilution of the working antigen standard using the eight tube strip provided. Label the tube sequentially standard 1 through standard 7. Label the 8th tube for use as a background. Add 200 microliters of the working antigen standard into the first tube labeled standard 1. Add 150 microliters of universal assay buffer or cell culture medium into standard tube 2 through standard tube 7 as well as 150 microliters to tube 8 as a background. Transfer 50 microliters of the mixed antigen standards from standard tube 1 into standard tube 2. Mix by pipetting up and down 10 times while changing tips between each tube. Transfer 50 microliters of the mixed antigen standard from standard tube 2 into standard tube 3 Mix by pipetting up and down 10 times. Transfer 50 microliters of the mixed antigen standard from standard tube 3 into standard tube 4 and mix by pipetting up and down 10 times. Repeat these steps for the tubes labeled standard 5 through standard 7. Keep the diluted antigen standards on ice until use. Thank you for watching this video. 
To find out more about Invitrogen Procartoplex amino assays, visit thermofisher.com forward slash Procartoplex.